Okay, let's have a look at the uh, V-Soul Case 3 uh, for Moose Air Boss. That's for 6,000 feet, um, like a reasonably solid uh, broken overcast uh, with rain below. And the carrier is doing Case 3 with a zero offset uh, holding pattern out at 21 miles. So we're at 10 miles there now from the carrier. You can see the carrier behind us and each of those tick marks in this scale is 10 miles. Uh, we, all we have to do, I have on COM 1, I've got Marshall Radio 315, and on COM 2 I've got the LSO preset. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll um, call in with Marshall and request Marshall, and they'll give us the instructions. At the moment I've got the uh, BRC, as the carrier is setting up for K3, dialed in at 203 and with the TACAN of 10 X-ray running. So we'll do a case 3 via a TACAN approach and um, we'll have a look at this. Let's uh, bring up the Airboss menu. Comms menu. Comms menu. Comms menu. 9-9, starting aircraft, recovery case 3, okay. on Marshall Radio, 0, 2, 3 degrees. Okay, so the Marshall Radio is 023, which is the reciprocal of 203. So, as we expected, so let's go Air Boss, Tarawa, and request Marshall. 408 expected GRT 203 degrees. Hold it, Angel 6. Expected Charlie time 0639 hours. Altimeter 2.9.6. Report to me. 408. Okay, so it's a uh, it's a left-hand holding pattern off that radial, so we just passed 21 miles and we checked in there, so we're pretty close to the radial, so I'm just going to make a little 30 degree teardrop into the hold here, so we'll come uh, right 30, there we go, and we'll start slowing down to 250 knots and I'm bringing it back in now to Four, come zero, in. Eight. You're cleared for three. Recovery. To come in on the uh, 203 radial. So you can see it says 209 on the tape there, so indicating that we're left of the radial. So we'll keep caution, that caution. corner going. That was me knocking the autopilot out. 250 knots and coming around on 203. Now we just got cleared for case 3 approach. Um, so once we get closer to that 21 miles, we'll be cleared to platform which is uh, 19 miles, and we need to be 5,000 at the platform. So, as we're coming in, I'm just going to offset here just to let that creep around to 203. Trim it out again. And I'm just going to put the autopilot back in, in attitude hole. So all I'm doing is flying that tick mark there across Four, zero, to 203. Eight. Okay, so we just got to send to platform is fine. So we have a look at the radial, we're pretty much on it, and we'll start our descent. So we want to do a descent at 250 knots, about, and not very far to go, so we'll do it at about uh, 3,000 feet per minute to make sure we're nicely down at 5,000 by 19 miles. Just coming a little bit right to get right onto that 203 radial. So just flew through 5,000 while I was doing that. So back up to 5,000 we go. And we'll stabilise there at 5,000. And once we pass 19 miles, um, we will be cleared to continue um, straight in because it's um, a non offset radial approach and with our next mark being 9 miles, which we are dirty up. So we're through 19 DME there, and I'm bringing the nose down, we'll do about 2,000 feet per minute, rate of descent, and make our way in. So a bit of a crosswind from right to left here, so that's why I'm heading about 208, 210, to try and get back onto that 203 inbound radial. So I'll hold 210 there. And we're descending down to 1,200 feet now, and we want to be there by 9 miles to commence our dirty up. 
Uh, so a couple of things to check while we're coming in here. VL, um, so vertical landing, dry, 4118, fuel plus water. We've got 31, 500 fuel, so we're fine to do a dry vertical landing. And um, if we have a look at the tack and approach we've got there, let's see we've got a uh, minima down there for daytime of uh, 307 feet, one mile. So um, we'll take it down to 370 feet. Actually, we're doing tack and aren't we? It's 470 for day and night. So down to 470 feet. Um, it's just a matter of flying the radial now, holding your speed on the way in with an aim to be at that nine miles at 1200. Uh, feet. So we just came out of the cloud base there now, but in rain. I don't have the carrier inside as yet, so we're continuing the approach. Approaching 1200 feet, bringing it up level, and I'm bringing it back towards that 203. Radial, so we're sitting on about 201 there, 202. It's a little bit out this side now. Hold that 1200 feet and looking for nine miles, and then we'll start our dirty up and configure for the approach. You're high. About 80 feet high um, at the nine mile mark. So if you think about like a normal three degree profile, which we're going to fly into the carrier, so from three miles, about 1260 feet, 1200 is about right um, to get us 120 foot um, altitude above the deck. So 50 feet over the deck, but 120 feet on the radar altimeter. So we're going to fly into three miles before we start our descent. So this is our dirty up here. So I've got the thrust coming off. I've got the nozzles coming to 55 now. I'm checking the stow stops away, which it is now. And we let it decelerate, holding that 1200. And uh, just trimming it out. And we'll take the gear down, approaching five miles. So I've got the carrier in sight. We're technically visual, but we'll continue the case three approach. Um, so over the deck. So we're through five miles and I'm going to take the flaps to stow now and ready for our final descent at three degrees down to the meet, pick up the OLS and the tram line. So the flaps are coming to stow, a little balloon there, oh the nose to hold that 1200 feet and let the speed come back. Okay, I'm going to disconnect the auto flight now. And I'm expecting point spot 7.5, approaching three miles. And we're going to lower the nose and reduce thrust a little bit to maintain this angle of attack. about 204 there so I'll come across to the right a little bit and three miles and now I want to set the flight path marker down to roughly three degrees so not the witch's hat but the flight path marker and we're going to fly that 203 radial and a flight path marker roughly at three degrees. Still looking at our angle of attack, hanging in there around 10. And come a little bit right to try and get back onto that 203 radial. And we said we're coming down to 470 feet for the minima. 
So we know we want to be about 640 feet to be on profile at one and a half miles. So we're looking pretty good there. Maybe a shade high. Trying to fly th roughly three degrees on the pitch ladder there with a the flight path marker. 640 feet, one and a half miles, we're looking pretty good. Approaching the minima, we're looking good on the radial. And minima, visual, maneuvering for the tram line now and trying to fly, fly the um, OLS. Now the next thing we have to do is go to hover stop and we'll do Roger that ball. at about half a mile. Roger ball. So roger ball and just trying to fly that OLS and uh, tram line all the way in. Half a mile to the hover stop we go and we'll need a bit of thrust when we go into the hover stop just to so it'll, as it starts to decelerate and we're becoming fully jet borne and we want to aim to pass overhead the stern of the ship at about 150 feet slowly descending on that OLS and bringing it to power. a hover responding to the power call as we cross the stern of the ship here and get into a stabilised condition we will get cleared to land. Clear to land. There it is and lowering the nose a little so I can see the hover position indicator and move forward onto it and as we just slowly move forward to the landing spot we should get a stabilised call And down we go. Brakes Idle. on. Idle. Water is off. 10 degrees on the nozzles. Welcome aboard. And away we go. So case three. We've got a four point. A little low. Drifting letter in the middle. Low drifting right in close. A little low at the ramp. That was that low call. Uh, but not too bad. And... Obviously no groove timing because we're flying a straight in case 3 approach. So that's um, how to fly a case 3 approach using the new Airboss V-Style.